we should go through them now. They do don't look happy, do they? No. That they isn't look, normal behaviour. They look happier in the nuke. Yes, well, we think the Queen's in the nuke, don't we? So the question is, is this one enormous swarm? <laughs> Should we go through them now? Um, when we come back. When, when are we coming back? Um, well, we're going to this evening. It'll be this evening, won't it? By which time anything could have happened. Yeah. Do you not want to put that back on? I am. Yeah. Right, we're going to go through these. We wouldn't normally fiddle with a swarm so soon after they've gone in. But they just feel wrong. The, uh, we were unsure if they were a single swarm or two swarms. We're still unsure about that. So we've got half of it in there. A lot of honey in. So they must have put their own honey straight in there. I mean, what the chances are of finding a queen is minuscule, I think. We've got no pollen going into either of them, and these ones seemed a bit agitated. The size of this swarm, they can have had no bees left, surely. Um, we probably could do with changing a few frames as well. Yes. This was... Uh, no. Do you want me to go and get yeah. the... Uh, Plod, plod, plod. Don't expect this uh, clover to be giving anything at the moment because it's this is what it's growing on. It's dry, 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 dry. I can't put frames together quick enough. I put five frames together this morning. Six frames, six frames together this morning. We've got five in here. We're using up endless frames because of the swarms so Stuart will give these some fresh they certainly look settled in the box don't they but uh, we don't know what's going on and we may regret fiddling however I've peered in the top of the nuke and they are now not all clustered on one side, they're spread out. You can see people are nazimoving. The odd thing is, is when this lot here were all clustered on the front of this, they were seemed to be running in and out as well. There was no fighting or anything like that going on. What you might find is if, even though it was only the day before yesterday that they came in, he might find eggs, but he's going to have his. He's going to have to have his uh, special eyes because both of us can't really see them before four days when they flatten down. Occasionally, you do. Well, it's a thin chance, darling, but but it's not impossible, is it? Straight in and laying. They seem quite placid, don't they? Which is nice. This is all They're quite dark. So, I mean, the, the entire of that is full of bees as well. And we will have to look in there too, just in case she got in under the lid. I don't think she would have, but what can you say? Huge swarm. Makes you also it's possible they absconded because of lack of food, but I'd have thought not, because there is uh, there's stacks of nectar now here anyway, the blackberry and clover up in the field. nectar on practically all of these isn't there? Yeah. Perhaps they've decided that uh, all they want to do is pile in nectar and while it's there and they'll worry about anything else. 
you know the old saw said a, says a swarm in July is not worth a fly because you won't get uh, any crop off of a July swarm but uh, they've already got stacks of nectar in that super after two days Extra. They'll, have, they'll, have, they'll have come with full bellies, but it also demonstrates <coughs> the size of the swarm and um, that they uh, are gathering as well. I always find dark queens harder to spot. Light queens are generally lighter than the than their bees, not always, but often. So they stand out. But dark queens, well, they're dark. I suppose in many ways they're very often darker than their bees, but of course they just don't stand out. Got any polished cups or? It's full of nectar. Everything's full of nectar. It's not a comfort really. Stuart actually saw the queen that was on the outside of this box with what we assume was the separate swarm with them but we're not sure that we got her in there but we know she existed we know there was a queen on the outside of the box and we know that there was this huge quantity of bees in the box which is why we think in fact the more I think about it it's got to be two separate swarms. We're just trying to convince ourselves. No, I think it is two separate swarms. <sighs> we'll have to give them a few days anyway, won't we? Yeah. Unless, of course, you actually spot the queen in there, in which case, or in both of them, in which case we can go, yep. Oh, that's a horrid frame. Has it got lots of nectar on it? No, I she does yeah, good. Because they like horrid frames, that's what attracts them to uh, bait hives, but it's quite important to give them something a bit nicer, as quick as you can. And this one, we had bait hives all over the place, so we were using stuff that was probably nastier than we would have used otherwise. And quite a lot of nectar in that one. Yeah, no, no, it's not hurting. At least it's gone in there, hasn't it? On a day like today, when the bees are calm, as these are, I find it very zen going through the bees. Not that I am going through them, but when I am going through them, it, it's very, very calm experience. Of course, on a day when the weather's horrible and there's not a flow on and the bees are pinging all over you, it's a totally different experience. Still interesting, but not very zen. Would you like me to pop a frame in at all? Yeah. You have to spread these out. If you put them together, they don't draw them so well. And they, bizarrely, because, you know, if there was nothing but that in there, they'd probably draw it perfectly tidy but they often then also make everything a bit artistic. They don't get nicely drawn frames, obviously. Uh 
they feel they can be, they've got more space, haven't they? There's somebody uh, with a bum in the air, sent in to bring bees in. It's in an established hive, you'd go, oh golly, queen this, because they do that, but uh, are they? We don't know. you hope to replace. The ones at the back. Okay. So that's four. We do think that she might be in the top. We can. Um, I better put another frame in, and I are not open. Uh, we can um, just get rid of the queen excluder, and you know, there's options, shall we say? So. No sign, however, that's not conclusive because it's a biggish swarm. It would be quite easy to miss a queen. Now, are you going to go through it up there or no, I don't know. down there? Some risk because we haven't got a queen excluder underneath, but uh, minimal. Minimal. What lovely girls. Hmm? Yeah. <clears throat> we end up looking at every bee thinking, is that the queen? It never is. to hang about on the outside if that's where the queen has been and of course there has been a queen on the outside we know that now to awkward of course you'd normally stand behind a hive to do it but uh, because this was a temporary this was a bait hive we put up to try and catch a swarm that was up on that building over there it didn't but we tried And we made it, uh, we gave them a super as well, because that was a big swarm, um, just to try and encourage things. This is a bad hype for Stuart, because he's rubbing his arm. Also, if he pushes it up against his skin, they can sting, even through a bee-proof suit. Um, You know, he's got to be a bit careful not to get too many stings. Not that uh, any of us wants to get stings. Small bees. It's warm, quite dark, aren't they? Yes, small dark bees. But this is obviously got to be a prime swarm. Can I ask you not to lean on the front there? Mainly for in case you get stung. Also, of course, for the bees' sake.
Nope. So this doesn't look as if it's got the queen either. But, you know, I'm, I'm saying something that is, you know, he's only had a quick look through. We don't want to disturb them too much. They, they're certainly in here, they're not going to go anywhere. Um, worst comes to worst in um, a week or a two weeks time we give them eggs um, it's not what they planned but at least it gives them a future one swan. I don't think it is Which one swan? well in a week or two weeks time we put we them to know in three or four days okay in three one or swan. four days time we will um, we could unite them One swarm too big to get into a brood in a super, which is pretty impressive. So I'm on the fence. She was definitely. Oh, 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 look at that. There's um, rose bay willow herb pollen just went in blue. I'm not saying it definitely isn't Cherub, I'm saying we won't know for certain for a few days. But you could easily be right, you are about so many things. <laughs> Don't forget you can't turn that upside down. round into the undergrowth might be better. We gave them a tiny slurp of syrup last night, not much. Got to be a bit careful. Do you want to put that on this up the right way? Just so the queen can't possibly be on it and disappear. You don't have to, just a thought. Right, so here we have either the second swarm or possibly the rest of that swarm. We don't know for certain yet. Does this seem calm now? I don't think we're going to be able to find them because they're all chaining. You know, they're drawing wax, aren't they? Yeah. So they're definitely settled. Bless them. They're still rather over to one side, but they have gone, OK, we're living here, by the looks of things. Possibly because they lost three quarters of their... They have drawn that since yesterday, which is virgin on the miraculous. God, I love bees. And that, this was, there's two frames of drawn comb in the bottom to attract the queen, and everything else was foundation. And they have, as you can see, drawn this. And when did we put them in there yesterday? Uh, well, say, late morning. I don't think we got over here to half ten and we it was about quarter to twelve when we said we can't fiddle any more. Right, I think we should just leave them to get on with it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point we well, she can they, fly that they one. look we know she can fly, as you say, we don't want to upset her. They look very settled. And mm, that one's <laughs> gonna be an ugly frame. But they are drawing frame beautifully. 
yeah how quiet they are happy they've got the queen in there they have a queen in there whether they have a queen in the one next door is a moot point let me just smoke these down or they will be squashed that's a bit uneven those frames there right so it's an ongoing saga we'll let you know maybe we should go through them now they do don't look happy do they no. That they isn't look, normal behaviour. They look happier in the nuke. Yes, well, we think the Queen's in the nuke, don't we? So the question is, is this one enormous swarm? Should we go through them now? Um, when we come back? When are, when are we coming back? Um, well, we're going to this evening. It'll be this evening, won't it? By which time anything could have happened. Yeah.